I really love, you know, I enjoy gossip. I love the vegan drama. A lot of people don't like the vegan drama. I'm, I don't really see myself as part of that community anymore. And I want to give you my own thoughts on it because it's funny. It's, it's played, this thing, this kind of stuff is played out a couple of times on YouTube and I'm sure it's played out throughout civilization and human beings over and over. And I don't think the vegan community is any different or the raw vegan community. The first, my introduction into raw veganism was going on YouTube and, and researching veganism and how to do veganism and protein and things that I was searching for. And I came across a video called The Protein Myth. Now, immediately, that is, for someone who's interested in learning about protein and starts to think that the conventional diet is not quite accurate on what it's saying, then that title is, is grabs your attention. It was a video by Tim Van Orden. Would you say that's dramatic? Yeah, it's kind of dramatic. It pulls you in. You go, oh, the, the myth. There's a myth about protein. What's this myth? So, you know, the way it's written is to try and pull you in. And that exposed me to the world of raw veganism was that I kind of knew about before a little bit, but that was the first example I had. <clears throat> and then I, was search then I was researching raw food rather than just researching veganism. And I was coming up with some guys and must have come across David Wolf. And then I saw this video, why is David Wolf fat? Why? <laughs> and that was Durian Rider. So I clicked on that video just out of that human curiosity. It was more drama, you know. And I opened that video and was exp and immediately liked Durian Rider at that, you know, when he <laughs> at that time or whatever. Uh, and was immediately interested in the way he was speaking was very confident. It was very clear. It made a lot of sense what he was saying. It made a lot of sense. And he was saying something that was very clear and easy to follow and a lot of people weren't, in raw veganism, weren't really saying anything that was, here's how you do this, you know, here's step by step. So, when, when people talk about, you know, no, one's, no one gets into it because of the drama or the drama's a bad thing, people are saying that when they're already in, you know, <laughs> when they've got in, now they don't want any drama, but the only reason they got in was probably because there was some drama somewhere. And I really think that most people who go vegan, they do it because they see videos or footage about animal cruelty. And that's the first thing, or one of the first things that moves them in that direction, is animal cruelty. I, I know some people that talk about the, the health benefits, so I think it's maybe sort of equal, but I think mostly it's animal cruelty. <clears throat> so, there's sometimes when I've shared videos of animal cruelty, just because it came up in my channel and I went, that's terrible. I, and I shared it because I wanted people I know who are eating meat to see that and see what they're contributing towards. But then other vegans are saying, why are you sharing this? I don't want to see this. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, but I know you don't want to see it, but I know you're not contributing towards it. But this is the this is pretty much the only way anyone else is going to change, you know. <laughs> and 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 some of my friends were saying, I like to be a good example of veganism and share it with uh, love and compassion and and all this. And I'm just saying, but who's changing because of that? You know, I've not had anyone that's come up to me and say, you know, your love and compassion for the vegan things made me. No one's changing. It, it takes a lot for a person to change, and it probably takes something really really dramatic like that that's what I think but so that's a, but that's another thing but the vegan drama it's funny to me because I a lot of people who were really supporting Durian Rider and Freely are now <laughs> really not supporting them so and it's funny to me as well because I witnessed and saw all these people for example at Woodstock Fruit Festival befriending and trying to get a benefit from and, and getting interviews with and doing videos with Durian Ryder and Freely and, and clearly trying to soak in everything from them and trying to get you know, trying to start a relationship with them and everything and getting a benefit from that, a huge benefit and then 
sort of turn and then they're kind of turning on, then a lot of those people are like turning on them now <laughs> or not not wanting to support them or whatever so it's 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 kind of interesting to see that how people are um I just, I just, I just see it as I don't see it as a vegan drama. I just think it, these people happen to be vegans and they don't like each other, or they, you know, they slander each other online. It's, it's not really got anything to do with the fact they're vegan or not, as far as I can see. And then some people might think, well, vegans should be vegans should be better behaved or something, or nicer people. But that's not really the case, you know. You go on a vegan forum and you get shouted down. <laughs> <laughs> within minutes if you say anything slightly different to what they want you to say you know so I I, I I quite enjoy gossip and drama I kind of embrace it you know I, I like it I contribute towards it to some extent and I don't really create a lot of drama I don't try and stop you know whenever there's been drama around me rarely but whenever there was like a little bit of a video went viral or something or people were responding to it I didn't really want to inflame that and turn it into a big thing I didn't really want to try and turn that into a career you know I didn't want to make like multiple videos read, doing the same point over and over and, and with thumbnails and all that I didn't want to do that it might have been a good idea financially or something but it's it's not what I wanted to do um, I still, I still really enjoy. I still really. Um, and by the way, I think the lot. There's a lot of people as well who have this opinion, like, you know, the idea that the people that are doing the dramatic stuff, like, they're not really contributing to veganism. Like, this is all bad, you know. But you need to just be honest with yourself. If if someone's got hundreds of thousands or millions of views or whatever, and their videos are promoting veganism, then you can't really. You can't really say no. That that's not right, or that's not good, or that's not <laughs> that's not helpful. It clearly is. It's it's, it's the, the formula for persuasion when it comes to persuasion or sales or influence is attention, interest, desire, action. It's called the Aida principle. Attention, interest. That is the that's the step by step process. You need to get someone's attention, get their interest cultivate their desire and get them to take action and attention is the, the first thing, without that the rest of it doesn't happen so I understand that there's better people proposing the vegan diet or that can teach it but if you can't get attention to it either by advertising or or whatever then, then, the, then you're not going to get anyone persuaded so people are coming into the funnel by these people who are creating a drama at the outskirts of it and then a lot of people are getting sucked into the funnel and then they might find other people and they might find other things and and get an education about veganism and you know I don't I don't even see I don't even see myself connected with a lot of these channels anymore because they all went away and started just talking about veganism because that was whatever everyone wants to listen to and it was a good way of like building you know building a following and stuff when in reality people used to talk about health and the the raw vegan concept and all these and all these disciplines and, and fitness and things and, and then everyone just went to doing these like junk food vegan videos <laughs> like all this vegan junk foods getting eaten everyone's you know this is this is not what I want to go towards I don't want to watch that I don't want to see hey, you can be a vegan and eat junk food, you know, I don't see that as like a freeing or, or oh, you can you can continue with your addictions that lead to bad health as a vegan, you know, you can continue with your addictions that are leading you to being obese. I don't, I don't like that. But I, all I'm saying is I'm not, you know, this is a short video. I don't, I'm not bothered by the vegan drama either way and I am happy to allow it to, to go on I'm just uh, watching the wheels walking by as John Lennon <laughs> said or whatever. just uh, happy to, to be here on YouTube and speaking to everyone and, and playing an incredibly small role <laughs> and hope to see somebody at the Fruit Festival and
and I've got a free book if you want to go down below you can get that and I'll see you later.